Unfortunately, the way things are structured, I have pretty much a crippled ministry, I'll call that word. Um, it's unlike any other ministry of, you know, responsible for defense and security in any normal democracy, where it is a civilian-led government, you know, where there is a greater emphasis on what the people want and set strategic directions for where we should go. Um, it's pretty limited in that regard, but that's just how it is set up. The law that that governs the police, the military, and uh, in that sense for immigration, which has just come to my ministry. There is a greater role that the people can play, and that's what I would like to set, because it's going forward, it's how the Fijian people, through the Fijian government envision our future, and how they want to place the security of children to be. That's how this ministry needs to st structure itself. So, um, at the moment, unfortunately, it's not quite, it's not quite set up for that. It's just because it's one of the baggages of coming from the last government where um, it's, virtually it's unable to influence things as much as they would like it to be. I mean, that's the honest truth. But I would like that to change because it's the political representation of the people through how they would want to be governed and, and you know, secured. It's conveyed through here, yeah. through the security forces, the law agencies that do it. And I would like a greater participation in that, particularly also, you know, uh, a further outlook on how we would like to see Fiji place itself in the region and work with our regional partners and stakeholders, you know, on how to, to give Fiji that secure future. But that, that needs to be inward looking first. So you have to fix the law, you know, look at the opportunities where we can actually work better.